Hey, welcome to Colin's Crazy Bible Hour. Well, today we're going to sing songs and tell funny stories. To get it started, how did Abraham make his coffee? He brewed it. <laughs> <laughs> get it? Because they were Hebrews? <laughs> now that that's behind us, we're going to sing my favorite Bible song, Jesus Loves Me. Jesus loves me, this I know. Hello everyone, sorry to have to cut in and interrupt those of you who are loving Colin's Crazy Bible Hour. We'll get you back as soon as we possibly can, but right now we have some breaking news. My name's Neil Mathis and I'm here with Monroe News Network, and we're happy to tell you that time travel has been invented because we're always trying to be at the cutting edge of 24-hour news service and to get the information to you first, we volunteer Gavin Gerald's. Our field reporter slash meteorologist slash do it and take care of it, whatever needs to be done guy, we volunteered him to be the very first news reporter to go back in time. We picked the Sea of Galilee outside the town of Capernaum in stormy, violent, crazy seas 1990 years ago to be the first place where he can report. We got wind that there was a boat out on the seas in trouble and we're gonna to try to see what happens to those fishermen and those people as they travel from one side to the other. After a short video that details Gavin's time travel adventure, he will join us from the coast of the Sea of Galilee. Gavin, let's send it over to you. Thanks, Neil. Gavin here with Monroe News Network. As you can see, the time travel machine worked. I'm here 1,900 years ago at the Sea of Galilee. Now we've been told, as you can see by this awful storm we have here, that there is one boat out amongst the sea. And it's rumored that there is a famous teacher, Jesus of Nazareth, on this boat. We're gonna see if we can find him and get some first-hand accounts of what actually is going on here. While I'm doing that, I'll send it back to you, Neil. All right, Gavin, we are excited about getting some eyewitness accounts. One thing I might warn you on, my friend, I bet those people back there haven't seen a time traveler before, so be a little bit careful, my friend. Thanks, Neil. Gavin back here. I was walking along the Sea of Galilee looking for my eyewitnesses in this crazy storm, and as quick as that, the storm came to a halt. I ran across my new friend here, Bartholomew, and I wanted to ask him what his account was that just happened here. Yeah, I was walking down the shoreline. It was storming pretty bad. I was trying to find me an area to uh, cast my line, uh, and all of a sudden, it's like a miracle. It was just pretty all of a sudden. The sun started shining. Everything was fine. The storm was just settled. Is there anything else that you have to establish here that you saw today to give our viewers a first-hand witness account? Well, I tell you, I'm about sick and tired of old Pilate uh, trying to make Rome great again. We're not going to talk oh. about them today. But anyways, thank you guys, and Neil, we're going to send it back to you. Gavin, we sure are happy and thankful that you are now the first news reporter to travel back in time. That might find its way into the Guinness Book of Records, my friends, but you be safe, and um, we look forward to sending you on another great adventure sometime soon. My friends, sorry we had to interrupt Colin's crazy Bible hour, but we know that this breaking news that was urgent just had to be shared with each and every one of you. So we hope to see you soon. We are your trusted news source, Monroe News Network. Remember, if it's not from us, it's fake news. So thank you very much for watching. And now, enjoy the last few minutes of Colin's Crazy Bible Hour. Booster, booster, be a booster and boost our Bible show. I've had such a fun time today with you boys and girls. I hope I get to see you all next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.